Hey, Phil Ebener here with videoschoolonline.com and today I'm reviewing a set of wireless lavalier microphones from Comica. This is the Comica CVM WM200, a professional wireless set. It comes with two transmitters, so you can actually have two people uh, mic'd up. It comes with one receiver, which can be plugged into your XLR camcorder, a DSLR camcorder with just a mini jack or even supposedly a smartphone. So I'm gonna open this up, see what's in here. I like to keep my reviews short and sweet and just get to really what it sounds like. So at the end of this, we are going to be comparing this microphone set to what I'm using right now, which is a shotgun microphone, the Rode NTG3, and then also a lavalier set that I have currently, which is the Sennheiser G3 set. So let's open this up. This set is just under $400 US. So it is a little bit more pricey than some of the cheapest wireless microphones that you can find on Amazon, but it is still cheaper than what are considered to be the industry standard of wireless microphones, such as the Sennheiser G3 set, which comes in around $600 for the set with only, it comes with one microphone. So inside this box, Got this nice hard shell case. Ooh, sorry. It comes with this nice hard shell case. Looks pretty tough, which is nice. You know, usually I'm throwing my microphones in a little baggie or something like that, Ziploc. And so having an actual case like this will protect everything and it looks professional. So everything is nice and protected in here. We've got our receiver. We've got our two transmitters right here. I could already tell that from testing out another Comica wireless set, the WM100 series, which is sort of the uh, more budget friendly option compared to these ones, uh, the, the make and build, it's not as plasticky. I could tell it, it's more of a hard plastic. It feels a little bit more solid, which is nice. Also, the size is just a little bit smaller too. In all these bags, I'm sure what we're going to find are all the connectors that connect the microphones to the, or the microphones themselves that connect to the transmitters and then also uh, the connections to your camera or as it says, you can connect this directly to a smartphone, which that's actually pretty cool. I'm just not sure how much control you'll have it will depend on what apps you're using on your smartphone. So here's one of the lobs. Now this foam cover is rather large, but the microphone itself isn't too big, which is nice. You might want to replace this foam cover, especially if you are going to have it on the outside of whoever is speaking their clothes. This can look kind of big and obtrusive. So we've got the two microphones, which is nice, you know, if you want to have multiple people and filming multiple people at the same time, it's nice to have two and it just plugs it directly. They both are come into this one receiver. It also comes with this little windscreen, rather large. Again, not something that I would necessarily use. Uh, I'm not gonna stick this on a microphone and have it pinned to someone. It just looks a little awkward, but if you live somewhere where it's super windy and you need this to get decent quality sound, it's nice that it comes with it. Here, it looks like the little connector that would plug into your DSLR mic jack or your smartphone. And then it just did come with a couple little connectors. Uh, so these, these little wire things, they go on the back of all of these packs and then it can clip onto your belt, to your camera strap or anything like that. And then this is a little hot shoe adapter. So if you want to connect this to your receiver and then put this on top of your camera so you don't have to hold it or clip it onto you, that's nice too. This is what you get. Seems like I have everything here for a nice professional setup, but what it comes down to really is how does it sound? So I'm gonna put some batteries into one of the transmitters, one of the receivers, I'm gonna mic myself up and then we're going to compare it to some of the other audio. Once you plug in, put in some batteries, the first thing you wanna do is turn it on. And ideally what you're going to see on the receiver is you're going to start to see some sound bars pop up. 
So this is automatically connecting this receiver, which is, I guess, receiver B, because it's showing up the audio levels on the B side. I know that's too hard for you to see, but that's a good sign. Now I'm gonna plug this into my Zoom H6N, which is the audio recorder I use to record multiple microphones and set my levels properly. And then we're going to compare it with uh, and actually hear what it sounds. All right, so I've got my audio levels set about equally for the Sennheiser G3, the Comica WM200A, and now let's compare what it actually sounds like. So right now you're still listening to the Rode NTG3. I'm going to switch. Now you are listening to the Sennheiser G3 wireless set. Again, this is a $600 set. Now you are listening to the Comica 200A, WM200A set. This is under $400 and it's, uh, so far to me, it looks and feels like a great microphone. I haven't listened to what this microphone sounds like yet though. So you're hearing it before I am. I'm gonna go into the computer after this to compare it and hear what it sounds like between the Sennheiser G3, which now is what you are listening to, and then compare it back to the Comica 200, which for the price of under $400 might be a great alternative for someone who's just getting started out, looking to get a professional set of wireless lobs compared to dropping $600 on the Sennheiser set. So what I'm also going to do is compare this to another Comica set. I have the 100 set, so the Comica WM100, and you can find that in another video on my YouTube channel. I also have a full review or unboxing similar to this one for the Comica WM100 microphones, which are even cheaper than this one. It's under $300, and a great buy for budget filmmakers. So let's hop into the computer and hear what this actually sounds like, and I'll give you my final word of advice and review based off of that. So by now you have heard the multiple microphones and you've heard the Comica 200 series, and I've, gone, I've listened to it multiple times, and to be completely honest, I am very impressed with the audio quality coming from these microphones, especially when comparing it to the Sennheiser G3 set. Now, just as a reminder, the Sennheiser G3 set is around $600, which comes with one microphone pack and one receiver. The Comica 200 set has two microphones that can both go into one receiver. So you get the two microphone and transmitters with that. The quality of the build seems fairly comparable. Uh, the Sennheiser has definitely been around for a long time and has that track record, but just the feel of the 200 series from Comica does feel good. And honestly, when going back and forth between that audio, as you can probably hear yourself, I know that you're listening to a somewhat compressed export version of the audio on YouTube or wherever you're watching this, but it has not been altered. There are no effects added to this audio. And it's a somewhat seamless cut from the Sennheiser to the Comica audio. There is a slight, slight, slight difference in the audio that you hear. In some moments, I can, it feels a little bit more bassy, which can be a good thing. Sometimes that could also be a more muffled sound that isn't a good thing. But to be completely honest, when you're taking this audio into post-production, you can do all kinds of stuff with this. And I think at the end of the day, you can make the Comica sound just as good as the Sennheiser. Now, I do have another video that's out reviewing the Comica 100 series. I also have another one that's directly comparing the 100 to the 200 series. And you can find that on my YouTube channel to check out. Uh, but just from listening to the audio myself, the 200 does have better audio than the 100. Uh, just for multiple reasons, I do, I would probably pick the 200 series myself, but I'll go into that a little bit more in depth in that video. But in general, I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope that listening to the audio has helped you either confirm your decision to purchase this set or not. I will include direct links to this exact set of microphones down below which comes with the nice hard case carrying case, which is nice. 
Uh, and as I've mentioned before, the two microphone packs, which is nice, uh, a great deal for $390 at this moment, under $400. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. Let me know if you have any questions, thoughts, or comments down below in the comments, and I will see you in another video. Cheers.